you know, right now I have no uh, uh, final decision yet. I'm going to to, uh, to make a decision final after this fight. Probably next month, uh, September. If you do decide to fight again, if you do decide to fight again, would, would it be Earl Spence or somebody else? Well, two fighters that I want to challenge, or if I'm still fighting, keep fighting. Uh, Errol Spence and uh, Terence Crawford. Amen. So I want to fight the Who would you best. rather fight? <laughs> Randy, this, what? this might sound like a crazy idea, but you've accomplished everything. What about moving down 140 pounds and challenging for the undisputed? That's the one thing that you haven't accomplished. And Freddie, if you want to go ahead and chime in on that as well, against Josh Taylor, I think a lot of people would That's be interested one. in that. That's a good one. Like, uh, first time I go down in 140, the hat on fight. <laughs> Manny, <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> I remember. Hey, Manny, when you heard the news, <laughs> that was a happy memory. Yeah. Manny, yeah. when you heard the news that Errol got, we'll oh. consider, but I mean, we'll see. Yeah. I mean, they one fight at a time. Manny, when you heard the news that Errol was hurt, was got uh, injured and had to pull out the fight, what's the first thing that went through your mind, and were you disappointed? I felt disappointed a little bit because uh, you know I've been working hard and focused in this, this training camp. Uh, I did a lot of um, discipline like that, doing the best, my best training camp. But good thing that uh, they told me that the fight is not canceled, just a, a substitution. There's a old uh, who, who um, it happened that he's a undercard, so he want to challenge me like that. And when I heard that Ugas that one, that the one who took your belt and you kind of, okay. <laughs> Manny, uh, what, Manny, what do you have to say to uh, people who, like critics of uh, Earl Spence that maybe don't believe the injury or believe something was up? What, what are your thoughts when you started hearing about that stuff? You know, it's hard to, uh, if they are the situation of, uh, of Spence, they will, uh, they will understand and, they, uh, and, and realize and understand about the situation. You know, of course, Earl Spence would not do that, to train hard and do and he want to fight. You know, the, a fighter is always a fighter. He want he wants he wants a fight. So that's a fighter. I mean, nobody will will cancel the fight in your uh, undergo training for how many months and you cancel the fight. So that's, they have to realize that they have to think more, uh, not a, a become a short-minded. <laughs> <Right. laughs> How easy you look back I'm, your... I'm, I'm just curious what your thoughts are on all of the criticism as of lately that the WBA has been facing and whether or not you believe that the sanctioning bodies have to too many times. Uh, about that issue, I mean, uh, I always respect the decision of uh, WBA, uh, whatever the decision. Uh, I respect that. It's going to be a good thing that it just, just yeah. good thing that it just uh, happened that we're going to settle it down in, in the ring on Saturday. Manny, being the local guy here, how does it feel to be back in Las Vegas and be the first mega fight after the pandemic with a big crowd in uh, the fight capital? It's an honor and um, I'm so uh, uh, blessed because uh, the first uh, one of the biggest uh, events in, in Vegas uh, during the pandemic. So. I'm excited to uh, to entertain the fans. I mean, to give my best and uh, to make them happy. Manny, Manny if, if, if this is your last media, fight, your dentist said that he wasn't worried about you knocking him out. What's your thoughts on that? Still got that uh, pack in that Pac-Man punch, right? You know, we'll see. I mean, I mean, I'm not predicting the fight, but I will do my best. I'm a, I, I'm a kind of fighter that don't predict the fight, but. Um, what I did in training, I will, I will, I will do my best in, in the fight. Man, when you look back on your career, hey guys, please put your mask on correctly. We can't you be had, here. You've had so many huge victories against guys, all different weight classes, all of famers. Is there a fight that was the most satisfying to you, or your, your, you think was your greatest victory? The most uh, greatest victory is uh, the De La Hoya fight. Can you and say why? You, you know why? Because. Because I came from 135 to 147. That's uh, unusual. I mean, I mean, uh, not many boxers can can do that. I mean, from from 122, 126 to 135, and then moving up to 147. Wow. And that, that was a fight that wasn't even for a world title. <laughs> and that's you're saying even a non-world title fight was your biggest victory. Oscar. Oscar. I mean, 147. 147. 
Yeah. Hey, Manny, Terrence Crawford has been trying to get a fight with you for a very long time. Can you just elaborate why that fight never came to fruition? You almost have a fight with uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, just uh, uh, other times, yeah, also um, pandemic affect the, the negotiation like that. There's uh, so many considerations like that. So, but uh, as long as I'm still in boxing, I'm open to and willing to fight Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, or anybody. Um, if you become the president of the Philippines, would you challenge President Biden? <laughs> <laughs> Man, 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 a lot Israel. of people consider you as the greatest fighter ever. What goes through your mind when you hear a compliment like that? It's a very big compliment. Uh, for uh, the people thinking about that. I mean, I said thank you very much uh, for people thinking about that. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thinking about that. It's an honor, but uh, you know, I'm a kind of person that uh, all my achievements and accomplishments in life, I don't put here in my, my head. Man. I always, I always consider my myself as, as a, a a humble and a same uh, an ordinary person like anybody else. I mean, that's me. That's me. That's in my heart. Because who am I to became a, uh, a boastful? Became a, a uh, you know, uh, I came from nothing into something, and I want to be an inspiration to, to all of you, to all the people of the world. Not especially boxing fans. Manny, is this That's the boxing. first Cuban fighter you faced, Manny? And if so, you know, who does Ugas remind you of that you fought in the past? Is he similar to anybody you fought in the past, you feel? Uh, Ugas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think you. No, I think this is the first this Cuban is my first time. Fought, yeah. first time. Does he remind you of anyone that you fought, though? The type of style that he has? Oh, um, so this is a unique thing. Unique, unique thing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of, of that? You know that challenge because a lot of fighters, with a week notice and maybe two, three days of sparring, would have been like, "No, nah, you know what? This is too risky. Like I'm, I'm too much at a disadvantage here. I won't take." This I think fight. if uh, going way around, like uh, you're preparing for uh, right-handed and then switching to southpaw, and you're not used to it, fight from fighting southpaw. Then I might thinking about oh, maybe cancel it because uh, it's a south pole. Mm -hmm. But this time around, I'm preparing for south pole by uh, switching to right-handed. But I'm always fighting a right-handed in my career, so it's not hard for me to adjust. Many, many. Ishmael Salas reminded us that uh, Ishmael Salas reminded us that. Uh, he beat you at uh, I think it was 112 pounds back when you were like a flyweight or something. He was the the, the trainer in that corner. Do you remember anything about uh, that that fight back or Ishmael being part of that? Or was that was that a tie fighter? The, the, the tie fighter. The that, uh, of Ugas was in the corner of a tie fighter. You fought the tie fighter one. Also made you, re do you remember that <laughs> when you were a flyweight? Ah, uh, when I flyweight, I was uh, overweight. He stripped my belt before the fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So. Uh, I'm not focusing that fight anymore because I'm. My thinking is moving up to 122, 122 pounds. Hey, Manny, what's your thoughts on uh, Canelo Alvarez? Sorry. What's your thoughts on Canelo Alvarez? Oh, and he's, his uh, accomplishment? he's um, one of the best. He's uh, accomplished a lot and uh, gave up the good work. <laughs> and, uh, I mean. I mean, your opponent, his opponent is only uh, himself. Uh, if he keep on focusing in, in boxing and uh, working hard, sacrifices, doing that discipline, uh, he will last in boxing. Did you ever have thoughts of fighting him at one point in time when he was 54? I old? think uh, 54 is too much for me because I'm 5'7", 5'6", 5'7". If I became a 5'9", and then I get fight. <laughs> <laughs> after the... After the the Margarito fight, they asked me about if I'm going to defend my belt. I told them, no, give it to them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going back to 147. <laughs> I, I said, what I have done and why I'm moving up to 154, and it's good experience. Manny, you, <laughs> Manny, you've never uh, been off for two full years like you are now. What is going to be the impact in terms of your timing and, and whatnot in the ring, the layoff? You know, good thing for me because 
to have a two year two years uh, lay off like rest because <clears throat> of my body I've been in boxing since when I was 12 non-stop that's non-stop and a good thing for me that I, I rested I rested two years of when I back to training like I feel like when I was young like <laughs> you know my, my desire my you know it's fun then yeah. Danny, does it ever uh, enter your mind, especially when you walk into this building? I know the fight is at T-Mobile, but you've been in the MGM Grand for so many of your biggest wins. But it was 20 years ago uh, this year, just you know, a couple this months ago. My fight this year, first time. My, my first fight in America this year. No, I know. I was ringside. But I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago, when you come here and you think, like, how where did the time go? Like, What are your thoughts when you think about everything that's happened in 20 years since? The knockout with Bobby here and all the great fights. No, I, I, I'm thinking that too. <laughs> I'm thinking that, oh, last 20 years ago, I'm here, my first fight with uh, Lid Waba, uh, supporting supporting main event with uh, De La Hoya, is Castellino, June 23rd. Yeah, remember. Have you, uh, you have good thoughts for you think about that when you walk in this building? Yeah, yeah so, uh, so thankful to MGM for always supporting us, promoting Manny Pacquiao. Maybe, um, earlier you had mentioned Oscar De La Hoya. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on his return against Beast Bill Ford. Do you think of him coming back? <clears throat> I think because that's his passion. Boxing is passion. If, if the sport is your passion, even you leave it, like you know, you, you will miss it. That's why I don't want to, I don't want, in my career, I don't want that to happen that I'm going to retire now and come back again. You know, you know it's, the time is you know, So wasted. you would never do an exhibition then? Who? You. Me? Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> against a uh, YouTuber. No. Against Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have another work to do. Besides <laughs> boxing. You know, Danny, which, which, guys, last I have, question. Which, I love which people. Which record of yours? Which record of yours will never be broken? The four-decade champion or the eighth division champion? Well, I think oh, both. Hope. That, that's hard. The four decades. Well, the oldest welterweight champion, which you can break again on Saturday. The oldest? You're the oldest welterweight champion when you beat Thurman, but I will, if you I will break my record. Break his record. <laughs> 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 break my own record. <laughs> what do you think you about that? Is, yeah. I will break my own record. Yeah. What do you think? Um. Yeah, I'm happy for that. I'm um, uh, adding a uh, record to my uh, resume. And, and not only that, but for the boxing. Uh, boxing, uh, at least um, at, uh, at my career and boxing for tw more than 20 years, I inspire people and I give inspiration. I, I already give inspiration to the people and, you know, Putting a, uh, a, a record in boxing history, um, that's not easy. So it's an honor for me. Um, I, was, I, I am blessed by God because, you know, I'm, I'm not tall, I'm, I'm small, but, you know, in God, there's... Thank you, Manny. Uh, Last question right here. Right here. Sorry. What's more important to you, a belt that you win in the ring or what you do outside the ring as a public servant? Uh, thank you for that question. You know, my heart desire, if, if you ask me, material things in this world is not important to my pocket. Whatever I have done, my fame, my, my record, whatever is that, my position in the government, what my, my, my what I have that what I have is not important for me. My important is my relationship to God and how I can help people and how I can inspire people. Amen. You know that's my 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 uh, my priority in my heart. You know things coming out in out in out, but your relationship to God is most important to be an inspiration. The later on when Mani Pacquiao no more in this world after 50 years to 40 years like that. You know, I want them to remember me that Manny Pacquiao is not only a, a, a one of the good boxer in the ring, but he is a, a friendly guy. He is a nice guy. He is helping people like that. We should show it the real love to each other outside the ring. Boxing is is, is fighting each other. Entertainment, entertainment. Boxing, you know, you're doing our best. Like, 
you know. But outside the ring, be an inspiration to everyone. Where are you? That's my 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 Can heart you come desire. Up here? Thank yeah. you, sir. Bring it up here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm, I'm so thankful to all of you. Um, deep in my heart, God knows my heart. I'm so thankful to all of you media because of you, we become popular, we become uh, known to uh, all over the world because you, you helping us, so supporting boxing, it's, uh, uh, I've always considered that and thinking about that, so thankful to all of you, of course, God is uh, good at time. Thank you everybody.